We've all heard that practice makes perfect, but what happens when we take it too far? I mean, it's like trying to find a unicorn. We'd love to meet the perfect person, live the perfect life in a perfect world and golf a perfect game, but in reality, perfectionism is a buzzkill. It can make us appear controlling and obsessive and unreasonable. And who wants to be that person? Not me. I have to admit, I'm not a perfectionist myself. I do have a tendency to become obsessed by things that I enjoy and I find interesting, but I'm far from being a perfectionist. But it would have made a much better point if I was now able to say that I've been a recovering perfectionist myself and that it wasn't until I realized that my perfectionist tendencies were actually holding me back, that I decided to let go and live life on my own terms. That it's time to accept that good enough is just that good enough. That we need to take action and learn from our mistakes rather than beat ourselves up for not being perfect. Perfectionism can sneak up on us in a variety of insidious ways. It can be linked to clinical issues like depression, anxiety, self-harm and even early mortality and suicide. Yikes. That's why it's so important to let go of perfectionism and embrace our own imperfections. So how do we do it? We start small and build up gradually. We take action when we don't have all the answers and all the details figured out yet. We accept that mistakes are a necessary part of growing and learning. And by doing this, we open ourselves to a whole world of possibilities. We become more creative and more flexible and more resilient. We start to see failure not as something to be feared, but as an opportunity to grow and improve. We become happier and more fulfilled because we're no longer stuck in a cycle of endless planning and preparation. Now, let me give you some examples of how this can actually work in practice. If you want to start your own business, for instance, don't wait for everything to be perfect for that perfect moment. Start with what you have. Maybe you can start small and test your idea on a small scale before you actually commit to a full scale launch. Maybe you reach out to your mentors or other business owners for some advice and guidance. And by taking these actions and being willing to learn and adapt along the way, you'll be much more likely to actually succeed than if you wait for everything to be perfect. There's never going to be the perfect launch. And if you want to start a new fitness routine, don't put pressure on yourself to be perfect. Start with something manageable. Maybe you can commit to going for a walk every single day or doing a short workout at home. And by starting small and building up gradually, you'll be much more likely to actually stick with it and see some results. So let's embrace our imperfections and let go of the perfectionist tendencies that we all have. Now, if I were to give you an example to the younger crowd, you know, something to relate to. Look at Instagram. Instagram was started as an app that was focused on photography. Everything was about photography and eventually Everybody started obsessing about the perfect pose, perfect colors, you know, fakery and stuff. And eventually they didn't even care about the individual photos. They started caring about the grid, what the grid looks like. Now, how ridiculous is that? Now it's time to take action and enjoy the journey because life is too short to strive for something unattainable. Now, remember, nobody's perfect, but that's what makes us all unique and in a way beautiful.